What's up, Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north node Libra placements. This is a message for you guys. We are doing something different today. This is going to be you versus all signs, okay? So I'm going to go down the list in order from Aries to Pisces, and I'm going to give you a message for each sign. So everybody's getting a message today, right, Libra? It doesn't matter what sign it is. I'm going to go down the list. And you guys will get you guys will receive a message depending on what sign you're dealing with. Okay, so we'll do Libra's dealing with Aries, Libra's dealing with Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, so on and so on, right? So on and so forth. All right, we're gonna go down in order just like that. All right, Libra. Let's see what's going on. Those of you dealing with Aries, that's up first. We're going in order from Aries to Pisces, just like I do the all signs readings, okay. So Libra's dealing with Aries. Let's see what the message is. What's going on with the Libra's dealing with the Aries? Libra's that are currently dealing with Aries. Okay, give me a message for the Libra's that are currently dealing with Aries. Give me three more shuffles for the Libra's that are currently dealing with Aries. Libra's dealing with Aries. Let's see. Okay. Tower. A lot of anger. I feel like there's some sort of tower. Yeah. Karma. Someone's getting karma in a situation for lying. Somebody here could have lied on you. Okay. But somebody here is going through a tower moment. They're receiving some sort of heavy judgment here. Somebody here is under heavy judgment. Yeah, this person was playing games. This person played with you. Yeah, the sun reverse. This person is now unhappy because they're going through a tower moment. They're getting karma for playing with you. This is somebody that was playing with your feelings, playing with your heart. Yeah, this person could have strung you along, had you waiting, or they wanted you to be waiting on them. King of Wands in a reverse here to the Three of Wands in a reverse, but you're not waiting on this person. Yeah, you have a higher form of commitment that's coming in, or you could already be with somebody that is uh, really committed to you, really dedicated to you. Yeah, it's like you found your real emperor, your true emperor. This person could be a Taurus, or they could have Taurus placements, but we got the Hierophant and the Emperor. This is what you have coming in now, okay? And Or this is what you're already in, okay? Some of you have already established a very powerful connection with somebody here with the Hierophant and the Emperor here. But this person also wants to be your Emperor. This is somebody that y'all walked away from because they was playing games. King of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody that could have cheated on y'all or they was just juggling you. They never took you seriously or they lied about their feelings for you. They played a lot of games. King of Wands in the reverse. Somebody that plays a lot of games. This is somebody that cheats a lot as well. This is somebody that sleep around. Um, you set yourself free from that situation. Yep, six of swords to the chariot. Some of y'all could have even traveled, okay? But you are showing up as the Empress Libra. You being celebrated during this time. I'm hearing that you feel liberated. You feel free. You feel victorious. Yes, the Empress to the six of wands. Libra, look at you, man. You celebrating. Life is good. Things are just happening for you very quickly. Everything is on the up and up. You very independent. You feeling good. And this person feels very foolish for how they treated you in the past. This is somebody that's in heavy regret, and they also feel like they're getting some karma for playing with you. This is somebody that knows that whatever it is that they're going through right now is because they fucking played with you. Yep, what goes around comes around. Will of Fortune here. Everything is on the up and up for you, Libra. You're receiving some sort of good karma now that you've walked away. A lot of you, um, your good karma is involved in a real divine masculine here. Um, so congratulations with that situation. All right. That person feel foolish now. Yeah, they feel foolish. They feel like they lost you forever. All right, let's move on to my Taurus. What's going on, Taurus? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north no Libras dealing with Taurus. Spirit, what message do you have for Libras that are dealing with Taurus? Let's get a message for Libra dealing with Taurus. Libras dealing with Taurus. Libra's dealing with Taurus. Libra's dealing 
Libra's dealing with Taurus. All right. You're no longer confused if this situation is lust or love. That's what I'm getting. You're no longer confused or whether or not this situation is lust or love. Some of you, the flame has died out. It's like, yeah, I'm not lusting after this person no more. I'm not stressing about them and I'm not lusting and desiring them anymore. Some of y'all could have gotten into a situation where there was a lot of passion, a lot of attraction and really good sex. But now you feel like you know for a fact that that's all that comes with this. Um, I also feel like somebody here could have been playing a lot of games and all they really wanted was to be intimate with you. Somebody here could have just wanted to sleep with you, for real, for real. And I feel like you could have been waiting for a love offer. Somebody in this situation, whether you or them, take it as it resonates. The roles can be reversed. Um, but somebody in this situation definitely was waiting for a higher form of commitment. They were waiting for a connection. They were really waiting to be with somebody. Yeah temperance here somebody here was like patiently waiting for a solid offer patiently waiting for things to be more than just sex but with the tower card here i feel like things came to an end before that could ever really happen somebody here missed out on their opportunity to give a true love offer because they wanted to play games somebody here keeps a lot of secrets here somebody here was also still involved with somebody from their past, okay? Somebody here didn't close out a cycle with somebody from their past. And that's another reason why they missed out on the opportunity with committing with you, Libra. Yeah, now this person is showing up as the King of Pentacles to the Six of Cups. This person is now saying that they're written themselves of their toxic ways. This person is hoping that it's not too late. They want to give you a solid offer now. They sorry for making you feel like you was just a booty call, okay? Somebody here made somebody feel like they was just a booty call. But now somebody is like, nope, I'm done. I'm tired of playing around. I'm tired of being with people that don't respect me. So this person being in this energy of just wanting uh, sexual connections with people, they feel like they attracted people that didn't really care about them or respect them either. So they tired of that. They really want somebody that's going to be there for them. They really want love. Yeah, this person is saying that they want love. This is somebody that's really contemplating, going deep within, soul searching during this time. They also feel like they lost a lot of money being a player. This person could have felt like they spent a lot of money on these hoes. Okay, I'm hearing that song by um Gucci Mane. These hoes, most of these niggas go broke for these hoes. <laughs> what song is that? When I was water whipping. Yo, that's a throwback. Shout out to all the Gucci Mane fans. When I was water whipping, when I was water whipping, fuck the bedroom, point me to the kitchen. Okay, baby girl, where you was at when I was water whipping? Most of these, most of these hoes, what do you say? Niggas going broke over these hoes. Most of these niggas go broke for these hoes. <laughs> so I don't know. This person feel like they going broke because of these hoes. Okay, one of the chicks that they was dealing with also uh, did some spell work on them too. Could have been attacking their finances as well. This person is going through it, child. And they learning a major karmic lesson behind dealing with these hoes, okay? And they sorry for making you feel like you was one of they hoes, okay? They miss you, child, please. It look like y'all are like separating from that situation. Y'all are done. Y'all may not even have the strong attraction for that person like you used to. Yeah, Libra, you stand in your ground, Queen of Swords. Most of these hoes, most of these niggas going broke for these hoes. <laughs> yo, I, yo, I used to love that song. When I was water with it. Yeah, that's Gucci Mane. What was that? Was that Trap God too? I think so. All right, let's move on to my um Geminis. Libra's dealing with Geminis. Spirit, give me a message for the Libras that are dealing with Geminis. Give me a message for Libras that are dealing with Geminis, please. Three more shuffles for the Libras that are dealing with Geminis. Libras dealing with Geminis, please. Give me a message for Libras dealing with Geminis. Most of these, uh, most of these niggas kind of book for these hoes. All right, evil eye, okay? Somebody here is secretly sending you the evil eye. Somebody here could be dealing with a Pisces or have strong Pisces in their chart. Somebody sending you the evil eye because you win it. You straight like that. We got, yeah, and you unbothered too. You showing up as the hermit. You like, man, please, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, six of wands in the reverse here, four of pentacles reverse in the hermit. 
you release the situation, you could give a fuck less, okay? Like, Libra, you don't give a fuck about this Gemini. Uh, this could be your ex for some of you, okay? Take it as it resonates, but this is somebody that you don't care about. Like, you literally don't care about this person at all. You don't have no feelings towards this person. You're ignoring them. Yeah, this person could be doing a lot to try to get your attention. So this is somebody that could be posting shit or, you know, just doing shit just to get your attention. You know this. Okay, I feel like you you know that this person's trying to get your attention. A lot of y'all could have just blocked this person altogether. You're like, man, I ain't paying you no fucking mind. Go ahead with yourself. Yeah, six of swords. This person could be mad because you're traveling. Some of y'all could have traveled, relocated. The, it may be a distance between you two. Yeah, you're not paying this person no mind. Okay, something significant about 666. Somebody here could be seeing that angel number 666, but we got the six of swords, the six of wands in the reverse, and the six of pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody that breadcrumbed y'all, okay? I feel like there was no equal give and take in this situation. And this person is sending you the evil eye because now you have a partnership where you actually do have equal give and take. Yeah, this is your karmic justice here with the will of fortune. You manifested this. You closed out the cycle with this person. This person toxic as hell. And they're sending you the evil eye because you're over them. You've healed from them. You've completely released them. And not only have you completely released them and healed from them, you actually have a healthy union with someone else. You have a healthy partnership or you're about to go into a healthy partnership with someone else and they know this. Yes, you're getting good karma, Libra. There you are showing up as the justice. This person is very unhappy. They could have Leo in their chart. They're crying over you. They're crying over spilled milk. This person is also upset because their finances ain't shit right now. This person could be going through some sort of financial issues here, but this person is lacking in their finances here. Somebody here could also, um, something here could be happening with somebody's status, somebody's title, position, their job, their ranking. But I'm telling you, this person feel like, you know, you completely over them. And you want nothing to do with them. And they know this. Yep. They have shown Pisces in their chart. Something significant about Pisces and Virgo energy. You can have Pisces or Virgo in your chart or this person does. But this Gemini want to make you a love offer. Ace of Cups. I feel like they really want to give you an offer here. But it's over. Mm -mm. You and Gemini is over. It's Cliff. And Libra, there you go. Showing up as the Empress. Libra, you going to show up as the Empress in every message? I feel like you are. <laughs> Libra, you went through a huge transformation. You give zero fucks about this situation. You don't care. This person know that shit too. That's why they bad. That's why they sending you all this hate. That's why they sending you the evil eye. Because they know for a fact that you really over them. And this is somebody that could be trying to act like they cool, like they don't give a fuck, but they really do. Meanwhile, you're not pretending to not give a fuck. You honestly, truthfully don't give a fuck. It's a big difference. All right, let's move on. So that's funny. Let's move on to my cancers. Let's move on to my cancers. Libra's dealing with cancer. Spirit, give me a message for the Libras that's dealing with cancers. Give me a message for Libra dealing with cancer, please. Three more shuffles for the Libras dealing with cancers. What's going on with the Libras dealing with cancers? Yeah, I was feeling that. Very sneaky and deceptive energy. Libra, you dealing with a cancer. Mm -mm. Be careful with this motherfucker right here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Somebody got it out for you, Libra. This cancer got it out for you, okay? I promise you they do. All right. Yeah, strong Virgo energy. You can have Virgo in your chart, or maybe this cancer does, but... I'm telling you, Libra's dealing with cancer. This person got it out for you. I feel like you know that. You intuitive, okay? Yeah, you getting justice in this situation. This person has no love in their heart. They see that you getting justice. You, They see that you're intuitive. They see that you're happy. They see that you celebrate and you're working together with people. They sending you the evil eye because you in this empress energy. There's a cancer that despise you. And that's okay because we don't like your ass either. <laughs> you know, Libra, you got a problem. A fucking cancer got a problem, but you tell them too fucking bad. I don't like your bitch ass either. Yeah, nine of wands here. You don't like this motherfucker either. This is somebody that's sad, they're depressed, they want to come back around to you. Why this person want to come back to come back around to you is beyond me. Because they honestly don't fuck with you. <laughs> this person don't have no love for you. They don't fuck with you. There's somebody that is trying to sneak you. Yeah, this person wears many masks. This person's two-faced, okay? This is somebody that talk a lot of shit behind your back, okay? This is somebody that be talking about you, saying a lot of hateful shit because they jealous of you. Even if this is a man, this motherfucker is jealous of you. If you're a Libra woman, this cancer man is jealous of you. They telling everybody that you did this, you did that. I heard this, I heard that about Libra. This person always got your fucking name in their mouth. They're a fucking loser. They're a fucking clown. They're a fucking lowlife. 
This person's a fucking low life, period. Yeah, they're a fucking low life. And they've been caught lying on you. You also manifesting during this time. You so fucking powerful. It's ridiculous, Libra. Look at you being celebrated, being rewarded, showing up as a big fucking boss here. Some of y'all got Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Highly aspected in your chart. You could also have Leo in your chart. Okay, but you happy, you celebrating, you showing up as a master manifester, someone that's very intuitive, someone that is literally manifesting their dream life. And this person's just big mad, the emperor in the reverse, they big fucking mad. They could also have another Libra, a Gemini or Aquarius that's hating right along with them. So this person got a fucking, po they got a fucking posse. Okay, they got a fucking clip here. They got a fucking click here. They all hate you. They all jealous of you. They all sending you the evil eye. These motherfuckers have no fucking life. They're losing. Losers. They're fucking losers. Yeah. There's another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, another air sign that could be watching you for this person reporting back to them. This person's mad because you won't talk to them. They could have a Sagittarius as well that's working with them. They all gossiping about you and mad because you ain't paying them no fucking mind. You too busy getting to the fucking bag and you too busy loving yourself, loving life, and loving others. You love those that love you. You don't give a fuck about this person. And you got a beautiful fucking home. Some of y'all can have a really nice home or you move in into a nice home. You comfortable. You chilling. Somebody hates the fact that you're comfortable. They hate that shit. Oh, the fuck well. Get over it. What you gonna do? Not a motherfucking thing. You ain't gonna do shit to Libra, bitch. Whoever this cancer is, I'm I'm feeling real like, like it's some real animosity. What's up? What's up? Libra and cancer, what's going on? This cancer really feeling some type of way too fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? Too motherfucking bad. Find something else to do, you dizzy bitch. Okay? <laughs> like, for real. This fucking cancer is annoying. Whether it's a man or a woman, they're fucking irritating as fuck. Let's move on. <laughs> fucking dizzy bitch, man. Um, somebody here could be driving themselves crazy. They could be feeling dizzy. They doing too much to get your attention. They doing too much to make you upset. Fucking irritated, man. Yeah, this person gonna get karma for that shit too. Judgment in the reverse and the will of fortune reverse. Meanwhile, you being celebrated, you winning, you getting offers and opportunities. Come on now. It don't pay to be a hater. Get your fucking life together. Get your fucking mind right, baby. You losing it. Let's move on to my Leos. What's up, Leo? Let's see what's going on with Libra and Leo. Spare, give me a message for the Libras that's dealing with Leo, please. Let's get a message for the Libras that's dealing with Leos. Libras dealing with Leo. Give me a message for the Libras that's dealing with Leos. Libras dealing with Leos, please. What's up, Leo? What's up, baby? Let's see what's going on with the Libras dealing with Leos. <clears throat> Okay, so somebody here may be wanting to apologize to you, Libra. If you was having issues with a Leo, I feel like this person is looking at things from a different perspective, a higher perspective. This person feel like you won't talk to them. They know, they feel like they hurt you. They feel like they know for a fact that they hurt you. And they feel like you healing. Um, this person is like ashamed, okay? This person is ashamed. If this person cheated on you, they're ashamed. Um, they're ashamed for cheating on you. This person is showing up as someone that's codependent on you. Um, this person wants you two to be able to work this out, okay? You're dealing with a Leo. This person really wants to work things out. And they was being a player, but they saying that they're sorry for playing games. They're sorry for being a player. They're embarrassed. Maybe a lot of people could know what this person has done to you or they could know about what this person has done, right? They Some people here may know about... This person's infidelity and shit like that. Yeah. You walked away from this person, but they trying to chase you. This person is making a decision to try to fight for this. They want to give to you. Um, this person could be like buying you a gift here or something like that. I'm also hearing they're going to write you something. So this person may write like, they, okay, they a little old fashioned, old school. This person may write you like a letter, okay, or send you a letter, write you a love letter. I'm sending him a full page letter. Yeah, this person feel like you made the choice to separate from them. Yep. They really in heavy regret. That's the truth. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. And with the five of cups here, this person is crying over y'all. 
they feel like you are very angry with them they feel like you hold them back you have completely pulled away from them you're falling out of love with them libra you could have strong cancer scorpio or pisces in your chart this person feel like you are giving them the cold shoulder they feel like you writing them off you don't want nothing to do with them this person is really upset right now but they really upset with themselves this is somebody that is blaming themselves during this time they know that it's their fault they're saying it was their fault and they're sorry they're saying that they miss you they're saying please talk to me libra please show me some attention a lot of y'all could feel like this person is codependent on y'all though you may feel like this person don't have much to offer they're codependent on you you want peace in your life you feel like this person didn't bring you any peace okay a lot of y'all could be moving or traveling relocating those of you that lived in the same home as this person i don't really feel like you want to continue to live in the same home as them okay this is somebody that's holding on to y'all though they holding on to you this person really gonna try to fight for this there you are libra showing up as the empress yet again <laughs> libra you already know the vibes you're gonna show up as the motherfucking empress in every message okay like you are showing up as the empress all right but this person is like really really sorry they really trying to fight to save this relationship or save this connection this friendship whatever this is they trying to save their connection with you okay but you feel like whatever they did it was unlawful it was unfair it was unjust i'm hearing it was uncalled for it was unnecessary this person really betrayed you yeah ace of swords that's the truth they also know that you know the truth about them betraying you this person's embarrassed i'm telling you this person is embarrassed they weigh down their burden right now a lot of people may know you and this person okay and they they know what this person did to you this person's embarrassed and they sorry all right, let's move on to my Virgos. Libras dealing with Virgos. Spirit, give me a message for the Libras that are currently dealing with Virgos. Give me a message for the Libras that are dealing with Virgos, please. Give me three more shuffles for the Libras dealing with Virgos. Libra dealing with Virgo, please. Give me a message for Libra dealing with Virgo. Libra dealing with Virgo. Mm -mm -mm. All right. <laughs> oh man, this person be doing too much. This person knows how strong you are too because they be doing too much. So this is somebody that tried to force your hand in something. I feel like this person is very overbearing, very controlling. Um, they also say all the wrong shit i feel like this person don't really know how to talk to you um they a liar as well they lie they don't know how to talk to you it's like this person just ruins everything it's like i don't know what it was going on with this person libra but it's like things between y'all could be much better if they would just keep their mouth shut sometime it's something here about this person's mouth gets them in trouble each and every time i also feel like because this person keeps a lot of secrets they just fuck up with you yeah this is somebody that kept a secret about a third party mm -hmm. this person was juggling you two of pentacles here three of cups reverse and the sun reverse yeah this is somebody that was juggling you they could have been juggling you with a leo or somebody here could have strong leo in their chart the sun reverse strength reverse well the sun reverse and the strength in the upright Libra, you could also have Leo in your chart, okay? Or like I said, this person do. But this is somebody that was juggling you. And you knew this shit, too. You knew this shit. You picked up on it. Some of y'all didn't even receive solid proof. But you knew right away that this person was lying or they had something going on. This person could have been trying to act like they were single. But you knew that they wasn't single. You knew that shit. You picked up on it. And now this person feels stuck. They feel trapped. They can't get over you. This person been thinking about you a lot. They really wish that you two could have built something together. This person feels like you're getting a lot of good news, recognition, and attention. Some of y'all may be content creators. You could be on a public platform for some of y'all, Libra. But even if you're not, you're just showing up as someone that's very popular or a lot of people just gravitate towards you. You get a lot of uh, positive attention, okay? This person want to spin the block. Eight of Cups in the reverse. This person want to come back. You're dealing with a Virgo. They want you back. They want to come back. This person got a lot of options, too. But they don't really want any of those options. I feel like this person is trying to see what those other options can bring to the table, though. This is somebody that compares other people to you. So it's like they deal with other people 
or they date other people just to see if somebody will make them feel the way you made them feel. This person could also be like comparing, you know, how you made them, yeah, how you made them feel to the way other people make them feel. But I also feel like for some of y'all, this is sexually too. Like this person could be comparing your sex to other people's sex and it just ain't hitting the same. I'm hearing ain't nobody, don't, don't nobody do it like you do it or don't nobody feel the way you feel. Child, this part goes something else. <laughs> this person know that you don't want them. Yeah, they know that you tired of their shit. Will of Fortune here. What goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. Now who's crying, desiring to come back to me? I'm hearing uh, Alicia Keys' karma. What goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. Now who's crying, desiring to come back? So this person crying, desiring to come back, okay? They said they ain't crying. <laughs> oh, shit. This Virgo, yeah, they do talk a lot of shit. Fuck this motherfucker. They said, nah, I ain't fucking crying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't crying. <laughs> All right, Virgo. <laughs> okay, I hear you, baby. The magician in the reverse here, they, they are definitely um trying to manipulate you into being with them, okay? This person going to try to love bomb you, try to manipulate you into being with them. They also got somebody here that's doing spell work for them, a queen of wands in the reverse. Somebody here could be doing spell work on them, but I'm really getting the message here that they got somebody... Um, they could have somebody doing spell work on them, but they could also have somebody that is like trying to work on you for them. This person could have like hired somebody to do some work on you. Yeah, to try to delay your love life. It's like if you single Libra, this person is trying to delay any suitors that are good for you from coming in because they want to be with you. They want to come back around. <sighs> they could be dealing with a fire sign, a Gemini or a Virgo like themselves but they dealing with somebody that is doing work on them as well <laughs> they trying to work on you to block your love life so they can come back around but somebody else is doing work on them to keep them from coming towards you <laughs> child all right let's move on to my uh libras libras dealing with other libras let's see let's get a message for the libras dealing with other libras libra you dealing with another libra let's see what's going on with that Oh, we got a jumper, the three of wands. Some of you could be waiting for something. This Libra could be waiting on you, or you could be waiting on this Libra. Okay, Libra's dealing with Libra's. Let's see. Spirit, give me a message for the Libra's that are dealing with other Libra's. Libra's dealing with Libra's, please. Let me see what's going on with the Libra's dealing with Libra's. Libra's dealing with other Libra's. I'm hearing that some of you could become friends with another Libra, okay? So some of you may be building a friendship with another Libra. Or you want to be friends with another Libra. You really like another Libra. You would like to be friends with them. You feel like they're cool, okay? Let's see. There's a strong attraction here. Somebody here could have strong fire in their char, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius placements. But Libra, here you are at the bottom of the deck showing up as the Queen of Swords. One of you in this situation finds the other person very attractive. Let me see. Somebody here may also want to befriend you, but they really like you, okay? That's how it be with Libras. We are known for that shit. I'm not even going to front because I remember I had a situation like that too. There was another Libra and they befriended me, right? But they liked me. And it's so crazy because I like them too. And I was just so happy that they wanted to be my friend because I was like, oh, now I get to get closer to them, you know, because now we're friends. <laughs> but they was thinking the same thing the whole time. Long story short, we ended up hooking up and stuff like that. This was a long time ago. But it was just so funny because they liked me just as much as I liked them. But we both was like, okay, we could be friends and get closer or get closer to each other by being friends. But, you know, I really want to, like, you know, I want to be with you. I want to sleep with you or something, <laughs> you know, so... Something like that with you and another Libra could be happening right now, okay? But I do see a lot of communication. It's like you two have some sort of past life connection. You guys have some sort of past life connection. Like, y'all could have even been friends in a past life. This is giving me, like, your friend is your soulmate. Like, some of y'all could be meeting a member of your soul tribe. That's another thing that could be happening. Like, you could be meeting somebody from your soul tribe that's another Libra. Um, Somebody here... Why is the Ten of Cups in the reverse? I don't like that. Why is the Ten of Cups in the reverse? The High Priest is in the reverse. Five of Pentacles here. Yeah. Oh, somebody here could be trying to help you in a situation that's unfair regarding a home. Somebody here could be doing spell work on your home. 
okay? Or somebody here sending you negative energy to your home. And this person could be trying to look out. Yeah, you're getting some sort of offer or opportunity. Yeah, justice in the reverse. Something here is unfair that's being done to you. And there's a hybrid font here that's going to make it right. So this other Libra may know somebody that is going to put you in a better position here. That's going to help you or bring you some sort of comfort or peace. Because somebody here feels like you deserve that. Okay. Somebody here knows that there's a King of Cups reverse, Chair reverse, or Emperor reverse that is fucking insane. So somebody here knows that there's a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Aries, a Taurus, or a Leo, or multiple people here that's trying to make things very difficult for you. And they don't like that. So they stand in, they standing up for you, okay? So somebody here is standing up for you in a situation. Yeah, it's like they're going to help you in your new beginning. This is somebody from your past life. I'm telling you, this is like a member of your soul tribe or somebody that you knew in a past life. Or this is a friend here. Yeah, this person is, is being nice to you. They're being sweet to you. They're going to help you. They're going to be your friend. Or they're going to just come across as someone that's very gentle, someone that's very understanding, someone that's very helpful. And I feel like this person has connections. Yeah, and you guys got the Ten of Pentacles here. This could even be somebody that you may do business with. You may work together with this person. But this is somebody that's going to help you a lot. I also feel like you are coming into some money. Or this person could be coming into some money. But you are seen as someone that's very abundant, okay? Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. And somebody else is going to get karma for fucking with you. Somebody here has been watching you and studying you. And yeah, they, they come into like a rescue or something. That's what I'm getting. That's the energy that it's giving me. So there's going to be another Libra that's about to look out for real, for real. Well, shout outs to them. Okay, shout outs to this person. This is somebody that you're going to be very grateful for. You're going to be happy that this person is in your life. You're going to be happy that this person is doing something nice for you. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, shout outs to all the Libras that hold each other down. We got to stick together. All right, let's move on to my uh, Scorpios. <clears throat> Libra's dealing with Scorpio, okay? Spare, give me a message for the Libra's that are dealing with Scorpios. Give me a message for Libra's dealing with Scorpios. Give me a message for Libra dealing with Scorpio. Give me a message for the Libra's dealing with Scorpios. Libra's dealing with Scorpios. I just saw the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Eight of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give to you. They want to work together with you. I feel like this person, yep, there go that Eight of Pentacles again. You came back out. This person is ready to take action and put some hard work and effort into being with you. Yep, something significant about eight. We got 888 here. This person could be seeing 888. Libra, you could be seeing 888. But we got the Eight of Pentacles in the upright, the Eight of Wands in the reverse, and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. And we also have the Six of Pentacles. Uh, there could be a Sagittarius that's hating, period. <laughs> okay, or somebody with strong Sag in their chart. Okay, you always, listen, it's always something going over Sagittarius. I swear it is. Yeah, Sagittarius don't really like y'all, Libra. Or I don't know what be going over child and Sag. It'd be like a love-hate relationship sometimes. I don't know. But there could be a Sagittarius that hates you or a Pisces or a Cancer that hates you. Who gives a fuck? Okay, or somebody here could just be furious because you're not waiting on them. That's what's going on too. Okay, but I also feel like somebody's jealous of you. Yeah, somebody's jealous. Yes, that's what's happening here. There's a fire sign, a Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or a Pisces, or a Cancer that's hating. It's a karmic woman. She's fucking hating. Yes, yeah, she's getting karma. She is karmic, okay? This is a bitch here that's just hating. This person, I'm telling you, they like they the biggest fucking hater ever. Your person could have been in a relationship with this person at one point, or this person feels like they juggled, they juggled, um you and them together but they chose you like whoever this bitch is she tight yo she's so bad libra she's mad because you and scorpio are together or y'all about to be together okay some of y'all could have reunited with a scorpio or a scorpio is about to come back towards you okay somebody here is trying to block that they don't want you to talk in they don't want you to coming together but that's not how this is about to go y'all definitely about to come together yeah something significant about eights man we got nothing but eights here eight 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 we got four eights here okay 
Yeah, this, this connection comes with a lot of abundance as well. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This connection comes with wealth. Libra, I feel like you know that. You're showing up as the high priestess. You're very intuitive, okay? This person could have been married to this other, to this karmic woman, but they divorced them. They broke up with them. They separated from them. Libra, you're showing up as the nine of pentacles. Somebody here is all in their head. They furious. They fucking frustrated. They hate the fact that you're single because they know that this person going to come get you and come be with you. Or this could have already happened and y'all two are together. Yeah, king of pentacles. A lot of wealth here. This person could have strong earth placements as well. Okay, they could have um Virgo Taurus or Capricorn highly aspected in their chart, but you two about to be living a beautiful life together, and this person is sending you the evil eye, but all evil eyes that's being directed towards you or this person are going blind. Shorty just gonna have to get over it. Yeah, she's sad, she's depressed. Ten of swords to the tower, she's going through it. Oh well. Oh the fuck well. <laughs> like I'm like I don't know what else to say. Oh well, like I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm kind of harsh with my delivery sometimes, but somebody here ex is pissed or somebody here that they was just fucking with is pissed here because they chose to invest in you. They chose to give you an offer, Libra. I can't make it up. Ace of Cups. <laughs> like, you and... Oh, damn. See, that's how much they don't want me to say that you get an offer. I don't even know where the Ace of Cups went at. It was just here. Oh, see, the Three of Swords. Somebody here heartbroken. There's a karmic woman that's heartbroken that you get in this offer. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, they mad. Yep, I can't make it up. Three of swords, there you go again. There's a karmic woman, there's an empress in the reverse that is pissed. They also feel like this person is like visibly more happier with you than them. And that's pissing them off too. Like it's seen how happy this person is in your presence. Or that's how it's going to be. And they're going to be upset because they feel like this person was never that happy when they was with them. Somebody here feel like they was just a placeholder. Damn, that sucks. All right, let's move on to my Sagittarius. Libra's dealing with a Sag. This should be interesting. <laughs> this shit gonna be a hit or miss. Libra, I don't know what the fuck be going on with you and Sagittarius. <laughs> this shit gonna be a hit or miss. Let's see. Spirit, give me a message for the Libra's dealing with Sagis. Libra's dealing with Sagittarius, please. Give me a message for Libra's dealing with Sagittarius. Last shuffle. That shit gonna be a hell of a mess. <laughs> Sagittarius and Libra be beefing. Like, what the fuck y'all be doing to each other? Oh, man. It's either y'all love each other or y'all hate each other. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, what the fuck? Like, Seven of Swords reverse. I know the bullshit gonna come. I know it's gonna come. Yeah, Seven of Swords in the reverse, the higher front here. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Libra, you getting justice in a situation, period. Okay, so if there was a Sagittarius that was coming for you in any way, this person really needs to chill the fuck out because I see everything going in your favor. You getting some sort of justice in the situation, babe. Yeah, somebody here is working together with you. They like you. They're going to help you. And this Sagittarius is getting karma. They could have Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, somebody here is getting karma. Somebody here could have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Scorpio placements, whether you or them. But this person, yeah, Virgo here, this person getting karma for fucking with you. This is somebody that y'all blocked or y'all stopped talking to. This person's upset because you're not talking to them, okay? They could be upset because you're not talking to them. This person feel like they under heavy judgment right now, like they are getting karma. This person feel like you moved on. Yeah, they go that judgment in reverse again. I knew that shit was going to come back out. Whoever this person is, they getting karma. And they feel like you moving on with your life, okay? You moving on with your life. You happy, you getting justice, you getting victory in a situation. Yeah, this person is gossiping about you, talking about you to other people, just talking shit. Like, whoever this is, they gossip, they talk shit about you, they try to gather other people to look at you. This person is pathetic. Yeah, Ten of Swords here. This is somebody that's depressed, they're sad, they're miserable. I feel like there's so much shit going on in this person's personal life that they're really unhappy about. And for some reason, they got displaced anger, they taking that shit out on you. Like, a lot of the shit that's actually bothering them don't got shit to do with you. <laughs> like, why is this person taking that shit out on you? It's weird, but that's why you're receiving justice in this situation, because this shit is ridiculous, this shit is a headache. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth, Ace of Swords. This person bothering you for no fucking reason. They bothering you because you got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this could be a situation at work for some of y'all as well. You may have a Sagittarius at your job, 
or somebody was showing Sag in their chart at your job that's just hating, okay? But somebody here just mad because you abundant. Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here is mad because you get into the fucking bag. This person could be wishing ill on your business, wishing ill on your finances, okay? Like, this person just a fucking hater. They need to find something that they like to do, find something that they love to do, and make that shit generate wealth for them instead of hating on you. Yeah, this is somebody that feel like, you know... You you just doing better than them. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, this is a karmic woman, okay? The Empress in the reverse. This is somebody that don't love themselves. This person feels like you have a lot of light. Your light is irritating their demons. They feel like you have a lot of love, okay? You have a beautiful aura. And they're just pissed off about this. This is just a karmic fucking person that's unhappy. Yeah, this person is miserable. They're unfucking happy. And they feel like you're fearless, you're wealthy, or you're about to be wealthy. They just feel like you have a wealthy spirit. You have a bright, uh, bright light. You have a great aura. Your wishes are being granted they also feel like you get in the love of your life this person's just big fucking mad this could be somebody that's single alone dried up and upset like this is somebody here that don't get no love and it's not by choice whoever this is they hate the fact that they're um alone or they hate the fact that they're single like this is not somebody that's comfortable with being alone and comfortable being single because divine feminines you know we could be single and we love that shit you know you're single by choice you healing you focused on work you focused on getting to the bag like love will come when it's the time you're good whoever this is they don't have that mindset they're alone and they're lonely and they're pissed off and they're walking around mad and they're projecting on anybody and any and everybody that look happy any and everybody that's smiling they automatically sending them people evil energy okay evil attacks and the evil eye and negative energy right like this is somebody that's just fucky bad because you're good they're mad like that shit is that shit is making them even more mad like why aren't you upset why aren't you sad why aren't you sad why aren't you angry like ain't nothing to fucking be smiling about like that's the type of energy this person have like let's just say you walking around and you smiling you telling people good morning oh have a good day you holding the door open for people this bitch would be looking at you like fuck you smiling about what you so happy about ain't nothing to be happy about it's raining why the fuck you walking around skipping why you you know walking around and skipping at the same damn time right but why you why you just walking around and just gliding and just smiling like it's raining <laughs> like it's raining it's it's a sad day like bitch no it's a sad day because you choose to be sad libra choosing to be happy you should try it sometime the fuck <laughs> like a person's miserable yo I knew it was going to be some bullshit. I felt it. I said, as soon as I get to Sagittarius, it's going to be some bullshit. I knew it. I fucking felt that shit. I knew it. <laughs> the cycle with this person is closing out, though, with the world card. Maybe this person is turning the other cheek and just going to finally leave you alone. Or this person is just really going through heavy karma, heavy judgment to the fact where they have to leave you alone. Yeah, ten of swords. Something here is going to happen where this person has to leave you alone. Like, they have no choice but to leave you alone. Okay, then. If this is somebody at your job, this person may be getting fired. All right, let's move on to my Capricorns. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, node, Capricorn, dealing with Libra. Give me a message for the Libras dealing with Capricorns. Give me a message for the Libras that's dealing with Capricorns. Give me a message for Libra dealing with Capricorn, please. Two more shuffles for the Libras dealing with Capricorns. Give me a message for the Libras dealing with Capricorns. Libra's dealing with Capricorns. Mm. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I like it. The full reverse. Okay. The death card. Okay. So somebody here, Libra, if you're dealing with a Capricorn and this was like a romantic connection, this person getting their shit together for you. Mm -hmm. They saying they're going to get their shit together for themselves, of course, but also for you. Like, you're their main uh, focus right now. I mean, their own healing is their focus, but you the end goal. Like, this person is hoping to be with you. They're hoping that the work that they do on themselves will really um, grab your attention, will really capture attention, capture your attention and really make you want to be with them. Um, somebody here may wear toe rings, okay? Um, somebody wears toe rings and the other person loves that. They feel like it's sexy. They like the fact that you wear toe rings. Somebody here could also have a tattoo on their foot or their ankle. Somebody really likes that as well. Something about somebody's feet. Maybe somebody like feet. I don't know. 
with somebody who wear toe rings or anklets or got tattoos on their ankle or their foot or something. Um, okay. <laughs> we got the King of Pentacles here. Okay, Big Daddy. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? Mm -hmm. Capricorn. Okay, so this King of Pentacles is unhappy and heavily burdened because they want you, Libra. This person is going through karma. They going through karma? Yeah, they going through karma because they tried to abuse their power in the situation. This person wants you so bad that they they went about it the, all the wrong way. Okay, they went about it the wrong way. All about their feelings and wanting you. They went about this shit the wrong way, child. Mm -hmm, they sure did. They feel like they feel like whatever they did actually got you mad. So instead of you wanting this person or showing them attention or showing them love. You know, however they was acting, I feel like this person was acting out of their ego. The Emperor Reverse, this is somebody that's stubborn. They want everything to go their way, okay? Some of y'all feel like this person doesn't even compromise. They don't know what compromise is, okay? Some of y'all may feel like this person got a big ego and they're arrogant. Some of you feel like this person will never change. Some of you also feel like this person's a liar, okay? You feel like they're a liar. You feel like they put you in a very compromising position. Some of you feel like this person brought a lot of conflict and drama to you. Uh, some of you also feel like this person lied about getting somebody pregnant. Or this person, you could have lied, you could have found out that this person got somebody pregnant, okay? Because I'm really seeing a woman here that's pregnant, yeah. You see that? She pregnant in this picture. And then we got the seven of swords and the five of swords on top of that. Um, whoever is pregnant could also be sending you the evil eye as well, Libra. If this Capricorn got somebody else pregnant, the chick that's pregnant by them hates you, okay? Like, I'm really getting that. She know who you are, okay? Because she know how this person feel about you. And she's also heartbroken and sad because this person could be leaving her. Baby or not, he's still leaving. Whether it's a baby there or not, this motherfucker said he's leaving and she's heartbroken and she's pissed off about that. This person is trying to come be with you, okay? Period. They trying to come be with you. Yep, they leaving this person. They divorcing them. They breaking up with them. Whatever it is, they making a choice here. The love is in the reverse to the four of wands in the reverse. Somebody here could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, a Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer. Somebody with that in their chart. This person said, I'm coming to get you, Libra. They see themselves having a very abundant life with you. And they feel like you're very abundant. And they feel like you two could grow and build an empire together. Now, it's going to be up to you on whether or not you want this person. But they coming, child. Libra, what you want to do with that cap? I don't know. Y'all y'all know what y'all want to do. I don't know what y'all want to do. I don't know what y'all want to do. <laughs> Capricorn and Libra always be together, though, for real. Now that I think about it, like, there's a lot of Capricorn and Libra connections now that I'm thinking about it. Um, Steve Harvey and Marjorie is Capricorn and Libra. Steve Harvey is a Capricorn and Marjorie is a Libra. Um, who else is Capricorn and Libra? There's somebody else, too. Oh, Denzel Washington and Pauletta. Denzel is a Cap. Pauletta is a Libra. Um, who else is Capricorn Libra? I was about to mention Marilyn Manson, but I know a lot of people don't fuck with him right now. <laughs> but I used to be a huge Marilyn Manson fan. And I know Marilyn Manson is a Capricorn. And some of his most successful uh, relationships were with Libra women. Dita Von Teese is a Libra. And so is... Um, the girl that he's married to now. I can't think of her name right now. It's on the tip of my tongue. I'm actually seeing her face. Um, she gives me like vampire energy. Like siren energy. I forgot her name. I can't think of her name right now. But he's married to her. She's a Libra as well. But yeah, Capricorn and Libra, y'all be together. Y'all be together. Tank and um, that, that uh, Tank and his wife are Capricorn and Libra too. The R&B singer Tank, he's a Capricorn, and his uh, wife is a Libra. Um, what's her name? It starts with a Z, I believe. I, I can't think of her name right now either, but I can see her face. Um, but she's a Libra as well, Tank's wife. But yeah, Capricorn and Libra, it may be successful. What y'all want to do? This person come to get you. What y'all want to do? Want to be ballers, shot callers. All right, let's move on to Aquarius. Libra's dealing with Aquarius. Aquarius and Libra. Give me a message for Libras that are dealing with Aquarius. Give me a message for the Libras that are dealing with Aquarius, please. Libra's dealing with Aquarius. Libra's dealing with Aquarius. Libra's dealing with Aquarius. Libra's dealing with Aquarius. <laughs> This Aquarius play too much. They play way too much. They silly. They always telling jokes. They think everything's a fucking game. And I feel like shit is about to get real. This person about to find out that you're not laughing and you're not playing with them. 
<laughs> that's what I'm channeling. Okay, yeah, seven of pentacles here, yeah. the chariot. Six of wands reverse, yeah. You want to play me like it's funny, I'm going to leave you like it's funny. Okay? Yeah. This person played too much. This person ain't going to see this shit coming either. Whoever this Aquarius is, I feel like they're very comfortable with playing with you. Like, they're comfortable with the way things are between you two. And they're not going to see it coming. They're not going to see here that you're really about to stop dealing with them. You could be ghosting this person for some of you. Will of Fortune here. What goes around comes around. Some of y'all feel like this person is toxic. This person may also have some sort of addictions here for some of y'all. Or you could have addictions. Take it as it resonates, Libra. But you guys are not seeing eye to eye. Two cups in the reverse. Y'all not seeing eye to eye. Somebody here could also be upset because somebody goes out too much. Somebody here may like to run the streets. May like to drink a lot. May like to party a lot. And the other person don't like that. Like, why don't you sit your ass the fuck down? Sit your ass at home sometime. Why you gotta be so fucking mixy? Why you always gotta be on the scene? Why you always gotta be grinning in a bitch face? Why you always gotta be grinning in a nigga face? Yeah, I feel like this is like the issue here. Like, for some of y'all, yeah, somebody here don't like that. It's like, sit your ass down. It's like, no, you're not gonna tell me what to do. Yeah, <laughs> like, somebody here feel like somebody be lying a lot too. So, somebody here is lying or partying a lot or always in a mix. Or somebody's very flirty, always laughing and grinning and smiling and chuckling with somebody else. Somebody here is tired of that shit. <laughs> it's like, I'm tired of everything that you do yeah somebody here is getting exposed too yep there's an argument here you and aquarius are not getting along y'all could be arguing and fighting libra you showing up okay is the queen of swords reverse or this person is being really mean to you during y'all argument yeah somebody here is finding out about a betrayal and they're leaving five of pentacles somebody's out somebody's leaving i really feel like somebody in this situation is is done they're leaving they're done for good Yep, somebody here is setting boundaries, standing their ground, not making any exceptions. Nine of Pentacles, somebody here is choosing to be solo, to be single. Libra, for many of you, this is you. Nine of Pentacles and Empress, you're done. Some of y'all, uh, third party could be in the, in the way as well. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, or somebody with strong Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in their chart is a third party and they're in the way. Hey, you don't even give a fuck about this third party being in the way because you're just like, I'm done anyway. Like, you ain't somebody that I want for real, for real. Not, not long term speaking, so bye. Fuck you in a third party. <laughs> like, damn, Libra, it's like that. Libra say yes, it's like that. This person think I'm fucking playing with them. I'm not playing. I'm done for real. <laughs> Libra, what happened with you and Aquarius, man? All right, let's move on to my Pisces. Libra's dealing with Pisces. Wait, give me a message for the Libras that are dealing with Pisces. Give me a message for Libras dealing with Pisces, please. Libra's dealing with Pisces. Libra's dealing with Pisces. Last shuffle. Oh, uh, let's do one more. I don't like how that feel. One more shuffle. Libra's dealing with Pisces. Pisces don't want this message to get out. I don't know what is happening with you and Pisces, but somebody here is like... Somebody here feel like you exposed them or something here got exposed and they just want you to just shut up. <laughs> like I don't know what happened with you and Pisces Somebody is like no Somebody here get nervous about The things that you say because You're a whistleblower Yeah somebody here is really nervous About what it is that you know or about whatever It is that you say because Somebody here feels like whatever it is that you say Actually happens it's like you could Some of y'all could be very intuitive Okay somebody here in this situation is very Intuitive whether you them both of you But Somebody here just knows that whatever you say, that shit, nine times out of ten, it happens. It goes exactly the way you say it. And somebody just gets really nervous when you say shit because they just like, if it's not good, could you not say it? Because I know once you say it, it's going to happen. So just shut the fuck up. How about that? Like, that's how somebody feels. Somebody here could be gossiping with somebody from their past, okay? It could be a cancer involved here too, okay? Third party situation. Somebody here's talking to a third party, talking to a cancer or another Libra, Taurus, uh, um, another Pisces or a Virgo. Somebody here's gossiping with other people about what the fuck you be saying because somebody here like, yo, that should be happening. Somebody here's also talking to other people because they wanted to come towards you and be with you. But this person feels like they missed out on the opportunity to be with you, okay? Eight of Cups in the reverse to the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here feel like you st you standing in your ground, you setting boundaries, and you don't want nothing to do with them. But this person saying that they in love with you, they feel like you two have a soulmate connection, but you don't feel the same. The feelings are not mutual. No, they're not. 
Nope, two of cups in the reverse, ace of cups in the reverse. I'm hearing it's too little, too late. You don't want anything to do with this person. There's no equal give and take in this situation. Two of cups in the reverse. Somebody here could have a Capricorn, a Pisces, or a Virgo that's connected to them. Um, that's sending you the evil eyes. Somebody here could be working with a practitioner as well to do spell work on you. That shit is not working. No, it's bouncing off of you. Everything is working out in your favor. If anything, these people are just creating karma for themselves. This is somebody that's codependent on them that's sending you the evil eye. This person is stressed out because they know that this person is not over you. But also, they know that you have without this person you've moved on they just wish that this person would move on from you somebody here is literally praying for somebody to get over you they like libra don't want you why you can't get over libra libra does not want you like that's how somebody feel like they know for a fact libra that you don't want this person they just wish that this person would fucking get over you like libra is moving on with their life why don't you move on with yours why don't you just be happy with me <laughs> that's how somebody feel this shit crazy damn that's a tough one that's because somebody needs to heal. Like, whoever's in the situation, that person don't need to be in a relationship. They need to heal. People don't be knowing how to be alone. People be jumping from one relationship to the next and then be wondering why the person that they with feel like a placeholder or a rebound. Because they ain't fucking take no time to heal. That's why. That's what the fuck be really happening. But all right, y'all. Those were your messages. I hope that they've helped. Libra, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this. All right, let me know if the messages resonated or not. I will talk to y'all soon. Peace.